Cyberpunk. Well, E3 2019 is here, and today I am going to talk about it. Yeah, after this upload, I will see you in a year. But in all seriousness, I just wanted to talk about Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation to see what they had in store for us. One thing I should mention, though, is we're not going to talk about how cringy or how surprising the conferences were, because I think that would take too much of my time, too much of your time as well, so I just decided not to, but it was pretty cool that John Wick did host the Xbox conference. The first one we will talk about is probably the best one, Nintendo. The first thing I want to talk about, because it's probably my favorite Nintendo series of all time, is The Legend of Zelda. Now, The Legend of Zelda actually had two trailers, and it was one for Link's Awakening Remastered, or Reboot, I don't know, and also the, uh, the exciting one, the very exciting one, Breath of the Wild 2. Now, the one with probably the least amount of detail in any of the trailers for Legend of Zelda was probably Breath of the Wild 2, because all it showed was Link and Zelda going to a crypt and then getting scared, like, pfft, that's all you want? Come on, man. But, I will say, it did give me, like, chills, I guess, um... And, like, why it gave me chills is because it gave me memories of Majora's Mask, and I'm sorry about just, like, being very hyped about it, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just very, very, very freaking cool. I really like it. I hope they make a Majora's Mask sequel, like, come on, man, this is, this sounds so cool. And Link's Awakening, oh, man. I love Link's Awakening. Like, yeah, a lot of people, you know, kind of hate it, and I can understand why, but I really liked it. I don't know why. I think it's because, you know, you were in a dream, and, like, it's telling you you're in a dream, too, and you had to wake up by basically getting the eight, uh, instruments or whatever to, uh, play the song for this egg. It's no spoilers alert. Don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you any spoilers, but... Basically, the earlier Majora's Mask, just without the creepiness to it, I feel like. But it looked really cool. It looked very cartoony. More cartoony than the actual uh, Link Between Worlds, which I was actually really surprised. I thought they would actually use, like, the same mechanics, I guess. But then again, that came out six years ago, and eh, eh, it's, it's whatever, man. But yeah, Legend of Zelda, if you've never, ever played any of the games, definitely do it. It's, it's really fun. Let's get on to the next one. The next one is actually DLC for a game I actually did for E3 2018 last year. You probably know what it is. Yes, it's Super Smash Bros. You got Banjo. You in Kazooie. You also got the Dragon Quest dudes. And, yeah, it's very, excuse me, that was, that was, that was, that was bad. That was very bad. I, uh, um, it showed, like, in the trailer for the, um, Dragon, the uh, Dragon Quest one, or Dragon Warriors, if you want to be that weeaboo. Basically, it just showed, like, this dark crystal. It's just, it's really cool. I'm glad there are any more characters, but... Alright, so, for the next news, um, there is going to be a new Animal Crossing game. Uh, it's called Animal Crossing, uh, Horizon. Basically, what it showed in the gameplay trailer, I think, just correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but, um, so, like, basically, it showed you, well, the character, basically, go to this island and, like, camp and stuff. So, I'm guessing... You're the owner of the island now, so that's kind of cool. You're not the mayor this time. And it's multiplayer, so that's also pretty cool. And I think that's really it for, like, that type of Nintendo news. I know there was a lot more Nintendo games, but, dude, this this video will probably take about, like, 40 minutes to just get through all of them, alright? So, please, just get off my, my fucking dick. But next, next is... Xbox, or the Xbox conference I watched. 
But anyway, for Xbox, it was big. It was bam. It was kachow. It was really cool. Um, like I said before, in the beginning, um, it had uh, Keanu Reeves as the host for the E3 Xbox. And I like that. I like how there was a celebrity. But he was there for a purpose. And he wasn't just there for people to be like, oh yeah, I'll buy an Xbox. No, he was not like that. He, he's in a game. I'm serious, he's in an actual fucking game. Cyberpunk 2077. This looks big, okay? You have gunshots. You have, hey, we're robbing this bank. We, we You have everything else. You have betrayal. You have, hey, you, you can't be here anymore. You, you made us attention whores. We don't like that. We are whores, not attention whores. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with me, man? Back on purpose. You have sad, leading, justice, gotta have revenge, okay? And then it showed, uh, you getting blacked out or some shit. And then it had Keanu Reeves. He was there. He was actually there. Like, it's dream gum dream right there. It's the Matrix meets the Matrix with the Matrix. But there's also just a little bit much more of a bigger game than that. There was another trailer for, yes, Halo Infinite. That nostalgia hype right there. It made me think about, you know, me thinking about some other kid playing 2007 Halo 3. Let's talk about Doom Eternal. Holy crap. Doom Eternal looks really fun. It looks much more expansive, for sure. It has, like, some kind of king on a throne. That was really cool. I liked that. I liked how they expanded more on the story from Doom 1. Like, there was a lot of questions unanswered, and I'm glad they're finally going to fill in some more. Um, a lot of people are talking about if this is going to be a miss, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a hit. This, mm, the graphics for sure look great, the, the guns, the guns, ooh, the guns look cool, the gore, mwah, flawless. Doom Eternal, I don't know why, but I feel like for some reason, Doom has like, some kind of chain on me. Like, I'm in a sex dungeon, right? I don't know why, Doom Eternal just makes me feel so... Feels more like an expansion to the original game by Bethesda, and I really can't wait for it to come out. I will probably pre-order it. Who knows? Anyway, let's get on with the next game. Alright, and the next game is Final Fantasy VII. Did you see the trailer? Whoa. Opening, cinematic, great remastered uh, music. I like that a lot. I like the new cloud design, and I also like the new RPG elements to the game. So basically, it's basically like Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Zelda, other games. It's not like Dragon Quest Final Fa as it used to be Final Fantasy. It's different now, and I think this is a good change. I just like this. I can never get into Final Fantasy 7, but maybe now I can. The cinematic was great, uh, let me talk about more of that. The cinematic was great, it had Aerith, you know, looking up in the sky, showed uh, some of the Mako reactors, and yeah, it even showed some of the gameplay from like, where I could actually remember from playing on the original Final Fantasy game on the PS1. It's very, very exciting, and I actually put a link in the description for all of these trailers. Just for you guys to watch it, just in case you did it already. Hopefully they didn't, like, ban some scenes, like, cut out some scenes, such as, you know, like, Cloud getting raped by, like, six men. That was a lot of fun. Let's just hope it's a new thing, but with all of the same scenes and all the same gameplay, I guess, same bosses, etc, etc. Let's get on to the next game. Our next game is actually a very popular one. A lot of people have been hyping this since ever, you know, the second one came out. Yes, that's right, I'm talking about Borderlands 3. In due to hype, there's actually a DLC I have not played yet called Commander Little Something. Uh, it'll be on the screen right now. 
but Borderlands 3 looks a lot of fun. I can see it having a lot of fun. I don't think it's going to be my cup of tea, whether to say, because I don't know. I can't really get into the Borderlands games for some reason. Uh, I tried. <laughs> Believe me, I tried. But I just can't, and I don't know why. Borderlands 2, it wasn't really really there for me, I guess. I have all the DLC is too, so it's not just like, oh yeah, I just played the base game. No, I tried everything. Like, like I'm pretty low leveled, but like I guess it's because I was too too late for the party, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was it wasn't really my thing. But I can see how it is to a lot of other people. Um, so. All right, our next game is actually very very popular. I've actually heard from one of my friends, uh, stepdad. Um, about this game, uh, before it was even, like, you know, even, like, a trailer. Um, it's called Marvel's The Avengers. From what I can tell, it looks good. It looks good. It's, uh, going to be developed by Square Enix. Um, it, like I said, it looks good, but I don't know. It's just, it, it might be bad. I don't know. Um, I'm hope. I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be, like, a twist, if, like, you know, it's going to be a very cliche twist, but basically Captain America is still alive, but he's now, like, uh, turned to Hydra. That would be super fucking cool, honestly. If that was in there, I would probably play the game. Um, I don't, we don't really know much about it, it's just, uh, Steve Rogers dies, and then the Avengers are back, I guess, and they're fighting some dude, like always. So, yeah. Next up is Minecraft Dungeons. Yes, the popular game Minecraft from like way back when, like 2012 to 2015. Then it became a meme for like the past three years. And then it came back in 2019, ever since like, you know, everyone started hating Fortnite. And uh, people just started playing it a lot. And it's been pretty fun. I mean, pfft, I've had a lot of fun. I actually made a server with some of my friends and we actually played it. It was, it was, a, it was a ton of fun. But anyway, back on topic, Minecraft Dungeons looks really fun. I can see it's like, you know, in a bird's eye perspective. It's like League, I think it's going to be like League of Legends uh, gameplay. And basically, it's very complex, League of Legends gameplay. Uh, I think, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to beat that tutorial. It's fucking, no, I'm not going to. I can do that. But basically, it looks a lot of fun, and there's also new mobs, new characters, and I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah. Next up is, well, Dying Light 2. Now, I am actually not really much of a big fan of this game, but I know one of my fans, or one of my friends, um, is and uh he he loves dying light um he let me get uh, he game shared it with me so i so he could so i could play with him and on ps4 and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun uh when he was there it, it kind of got boring really quick but um this is for him uh dying light 2 um basically takes the role of the protagonist's son in the first game and uh he's basically there and, uh, and yeah there's not really much except for platforming the writer of Game of Thrones, you know, the not the like the show writers, but the book writer, author, as you may say, is actually helping someone with the game. He is helping FromSoft. And if you don't know what From FromSoft is, they're the guys who made uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, uh, Demon Souls, and even Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Which actually came out, and I didn't even talk about that. But it looks a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely medieval. It's definitely going to go back into Dark Souls, I'd say, but definitely different lore. It might be the same, but it looks really cool. I am very stoked about it. I, especially for a Dark Souls fan, like, I I really like it. So yeah. Sorry if that last one was kind of bland, it was just a really short trailer and I couldn't really discuss a lot about it. I could discuss Dark Souls to you, but I don't think you'd like that. And this video is getting really long compared to my other videos. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked my selection of games I talked about today. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Yeah, that's really it, guys. Uh, see you next video.